So I'm here with Jordan Bruns. He's the resident artist here at Glen Echo Park. Um, hi, Jordan. Hi, how are you? Thanks for being here today. Um, so tell us a little bit about the Stone Tower Gallery. It's the oldest surviving building here at Glen Echo Park. It was built in 1892. Uh, so it's had a presence in our area for a very long time. Uh, back when this was an, even an amusement park, you know, Pre 1950s, uh, this, the tower was still here as part of the Chautauqua uh, School way back. Uh, around 16 years ago, it was renovated uh, for the sake of having an artist community kind of like, expand here at Glen Echo Park. Uh, we didn't have a, a strong visual artist in terms of painting and drawing, so they made this a, a kind of a, a, a tower of painting and drawing. So uh, I moved in then. And I've been working uh, here at the park for over 15 years, uh, teaching drawing and painting and working drawing and painting myself here. And it's been a very happy uh, place to work. As you can tell, it's a, a gorgeous space and you kind of feel like Rapunzel should be here too. And I know that you paint the carousel every year. Tell us a little story about <laughs> well, there, the carousel. One of the cool things about Glen Echo Park is the, you know, there's so many events that happen here. So. Uh, carousel Day is, is a event to celebrate the history of the carousel. So I'm out in the in the in the, in the thick of it, uh, painting the carousel, painting the people who go on the carousel uh, in plein air, which means that you're painting it as it's happening. It's such a joy to kind of talk to the people who visit the park and talk to the people who are in the community, uh, and just you know being outside and painting. So I I try and do a painting of it at least once a year, if not twice. Is there a little history that you have to tell us about the sure. carousel? Sure. One of the cool things about the park is that it is still really focused around the carousel. Uh, but the beginning of the carousel season at the end, when it kind of closes down for the winter, uh, those are two major times for the park itself to kind of celebrate its, uh, its existence here. And once upon a time, back when... They were, the, the park is a little bit in limbo. Uh, the, 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 there's a buyer for the carousel and it was going to be moved out of Glen Echo Park. And what was cool is the community around Bannockburn and Glen Echo, uh, they decided that that wasn't appropriate. And then the carousel really was a part of the area and the community. So they kind of pooled together, pulled the resources together and actually bought the carousel back so it could stay here and be such a landmark that is here at Glen Echo. That's amazing. Well, there you have it, friends. Jordan Bruns, resident artist at Glen Echo Park. Thank you so much.